Hundreds of people took to the streets of the capital of the Somali region in Ethiopia to protest against what they are saying is the killing of hundreds of civilians by militia members from a neighboring Afar region. Hundreds of people took to the streets in Jijiga, capital of Ethiopia's Somali region, on Wednesday, angry about a deadly weekend attack on a Somali town. The local government says a militia from neighboring Afar was responsible and that hundreds of civilians were killed. It's the latest flare-up of a local boundary dispute and an example of the numerous ethnic tensions in Africa's second most populous country. Since taking office in 2018, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has been trying to unify Ethiopia, a country of more than 80 ethnic groups. But he's struggled to contain a surge in violence as regions and ethnic groups vied for more power or settled old scores. The most deadly bloodshed has been in the Tigray region, where war broke out between the central government and the Tigray People's Liberation Front last November. That conflict has recently spread into Tigray's neighboring Amhara and Afar regions, threatening further destabilization. Back in Somali, the region's president, Mustafa Mohamed Omar, said on Wednesday that youths protesting Saturday's attack had blocked a vital road and rail trade artery. It links the capital Addis Ababa to the seaport of Djibouti and, according to a 2018 United Nations report, 95% of Ethiopia's imports are transported via that corridor. The reported blockage could not be independently verified. Abiy's office and authorities in Djibouti could not be immediately reached for comment. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.